Hi guys, welcome to all and in this video we are going to see another important concept in Pandas called date range. Okay, before that let me import Pandas library by using import keyword. Yeah. So before that let me introduce you like two key points here. Like Pandas date range are super useful for creating range of times or dates. Okay. And it is used for re-indexing our date time index. These two key points are very useful guys. Always keep this in mind. And this is the main important functionality of data range functions. Okay, so in the task one, let me create a simple data range function and let me show me a demo of it. So general format is like we want to mention like pd dot date underscore range and we want to mention like start time and end time. So let me show you one thing here. Uh, yeah, so and the format here is like year, month and date. So let me show one example like pd dot date underscore range and start time is like 2020, 01 and 01. And end is like 2020, 01 and 06. I'm mentioning it like frequency is equals to day. So let me execute it guys. Yeah, you can see right. Like uh, the date ranges are printed here from 01 to 06 with the gap of 11. Okay. Yeah, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And we have given frequency is equals to 6. Yeah. So let's go and see the task 2 here. In the task 2, we are going to see how we can create the date range in 6 minutes interval. Okay. Now we are going to split the date range function in a 6 minute interval. Yeah, I am specifying like frequency is equals to 60 and this is very important to get the functionality we are achieving. Okay, let me execute this statement. Yeah, so here we have like uh, year, month and uh, date. Uh, that, is, that means like day. And here mentioning like hours, minutes and seconds. And also we are giving ending has hours, 24 minutes and seconds. By using this, we have splitted the 24 minutes into 6 time intervals. Yeah, you can see, right? Like 00, 06, 0, uh, that means 12, 18, and 24. So here we have mentioned the starting index and ending index as same day. So as we want time intervals only. Okay. So and we have mentioned like hours, minutes, and seconds and ending in 24 seconds as we have already discussed now. Okay. In the toss 3, let me create a data range with 10 equal periods. So for that, we want to mention like starting and also ending yeah and here periods is equals to 10 let me execute this statement now yeah you can see right uh, we have like equal time intervals between two adjacent date ranges that means the difference between these two like uh, adjacent uh, dates like this one and this one are same and, we, uh, and if you take any two ad adjacent dates those two difference are equal okay so we have 10 timestamps like this by using period function okay yeah so let's go and see like what all different frequencies are present and make some tweaks with these. Okay. So first of all, let's print all the working days present between two time intervals. For this, we want to use like frequency is equal to B, like mean business days. Okay. I am specifying like starting time and also ending time. Let me execute this statement now. Yeah, you can see right 01, 02 and 03 and 04 is skip, uh, skip and also 05 also skip and 06, 7, 8. 9 10 or printed so you can see like uh, this because of weekends days like mean 05 and 04 or weekends or holidays okay let me go and see uh, another frequency yeah so let me specify like frequency equals to w instead of b now let me execute this statement by providing like starting time like 2020 01 and 01 and end has 2020 03 and 10 yeah you can see right the weeks are split, uh, splitted here so it has cut a date range into weeks times. Yeah. Let's go and see another thing now. Yeah. Now we are going to see about months. Now I am specifying like uh, starting month as 2020, uh, 01, 01 and ending as 2020, April 10. Okay. So let me execute this now. Yeah. You can see right. All the date ranges cut it into months. Yeah. You got much clarity, right? Yeah. Now let's go and see how we can split the date time ranges into quarters and specifying the starting index and ending index and also uh, specifying uh, and specifying frequency as Q okay Q means for quarters so you have seen the exact changes right from all the above like how the date range is split when having months when having quarters and also when having weekdays and also business days which tells uh, whether the day is holiday or not and print the dates which are not holidays yeah so I have an additional tip to you all so if you want to get more information about these date ranges, you can refund the uh, official documentation of Pandas. So with all these guys, you have got much clarity while working with the date range functions. Yeah, thanks for your time guys.